Good morning and welcome to day three of Vacation Bible School. I'm so glad that you've decided to join us again. My name is Reverend Chad and I'm the pastor at White Oak Pond and today we're going to talk about worship. Now, we know that this is a different time. I mean, usually if we'd have Vacation Bible School, we would be at a church and we'd be gathered around and someone would be up on stage singing and and you'd go upstairs to the worship and wonder room and that's where you would have the bible story lesson but instead today you get to watch me from probably the comfort of your home and maybe you're sitting on the couch you might even still be in your jammies and i'm out here on this big huge field so we know that things are different and in fact, it might be that you worship a little different now. On Sunday mornings, you might get up and open the computer or turn on your TV and you'll sit there and maybe you can even eat your cereal while you participate in worship for your church. What do you like about church? Do you like it? in a different way now that we're doing it slightly different? What are the things that are meaningful to you in worship? And do you miss being back in that special sanctuary? What are the things that you appreciate that mean something to you about worship? Because worship, at its very basis, is about us sharing with God how much God means to us. We talk about it in there. We sing praises about God's creation and about how wonderful it is. We share about the meaningful experiences that we have in our lives that connect us with God. And we spend time praying. And prayer is just sharing what is inside of our hearts and inside of our minds with God. It's like talking to a really good friend. Worship and prayer is all about connecting to God and doing it in a way that is meaningful to you and to all those people who come together, that community, that church. Our story today is one that might challenge us a little bit. You heard it read just a minute ago, and it's about David, who was the leader of the people of God. Now it happens, what's really interesting, is this story happens right after this huge, enormous battle that happened on a big field, very much like this. God's people took on the Philistine army in a very big battle. So this story comes right after that. And you heard about how, how David gathered 30,000 chosen people to go out and get God's Ark of the Covenant. That's where they had put the Ten Commandments, the, those stone tablets that shared about the relationship with the, between God and his people. And so they went out onto a field and they gathered 30,000 people to carry the ark back. But what's interesting is that those 30,000 people didn't carry swords or shields. They did not carry any kind of weapons. Instead, they carried instruments. Do you remember how you made an instrument last week? You made maybe a shaker or, or some kind of thing to make. Maybe it was a drum, but you made an instrument. They carried those kind of instruments. They carried a kind of guitar called a lyre. They carried all kinds of things, also their voices. And when they brought the ark back to its place of rest, they did so dancing in a huge field as they made their way back to the place where the ark would go. They used their imaginations. They used what was inside of them to share how appreciative they were of God and God's promises to the people that God would always be 
with them. This week, I would like for you to think a little bit about what's meaningful to you about God. How do you share what's on the inside of your heart? How you feel about God in this world? For David and for those 30,000 people, it was all about dancing and singing and sharing about how joyful they were to have God in their lives. It's going to be a great day at Vacation Bible School. I'm so glad you're back. And I can't wait to hear about the creative things that you figure out today about how you share your relationship with God. Have a terrific day.